Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com here today to talk about a product line that I'm very excited to finally be carrying at the Emporium, Geo F. Trumper, Mr. George F. Trumper. So this product line needs no introduction, um, but I will introduce it nonetheless. Um, it has been a staple of the wedge shaving world since 1875 out of London, England. It does not get more traditional than, than Trumpers. They have had their original location always on the same street. They now have a second location on St. James Street. Um, but even inside the, show, in the showroom, they have the original mahogany display case that's always been there uh, with their products in it. And I think this entire line kind of exudes tradition. And uh, one of the main staples of, of uh, the Trumper line is kind of the perfumery aspect. So George Trumper himself was someone who uh, was a commissioned perfumer for the, for the crown, for other noblemen in England at the time. And if you smell these products, you can definitely understand why perfumery has everything to do with this shaving soap line because you open up the container of Trumpers and it just fills the room. And the, the scents that come out of these are so authentic and so vibrant and rich and, and real. Like at this one here, this is a sandalwood. And I have smelled so many sandalwoods over the years, but this is, is just heavenly. Um, and, you know, the, the quality of these products is unreal. And the packaging, if you look at the way it's packaged, it still has this old timey kind of look, like it's never been changed. Um, so much so that even, even kind of the old Victorian practice of using, you know, these kind of these pastel colors is still being used. You know, you may not think today that pink is something that a, a men's shaving soap, men's shaving soap should come in, but this is extremely Victorian, extremely traditional, and uh, it even has an origin back to World War II time frame of using pink uh, fabrics and dyes so they weren't being used during the war effort. Those, those, that color was something that soldiers didn't need to be concerned about, I guess, but um, today they still have you know these, these bright colors, bright scents, bright flavors, all in the, this product line. And I can't say enough exciting things about it. I'm so happy to have it. And now I'm gonna be showing you how it lathers up and just kind of speak to the quality. Rather than you know sticking my brush inside of one of these big tubs, I'm gonna take just this much soap that came off of kind of the little plastic preservative lid and we'll add just a little bit of water off here. I got a little can of water. And let's, let's bring this over here. I'll show you guys that you don't need much at all. Anytime someone tells me they can't make a lather or there's not enough, you know, they, they, they can't figure it out, you only need something like that. You know, I, I, just, I just scraped off a little tiny bit and I can come in here in my bowl and just kind of start whipping it around. And I have a completely dry face. If I put even just a dab of water on my skin and take this, and see how easily this is whipping up a lather. Now this is the GFT scent. And in seconds, it's been what, five or 10 seconds? I have got a rich, creamy lather. If I kept on going at this, I could get that Santa Claus Cool Whip lather completely. And there's still enough. I mean, I could do a two or three pass shave if needed with that amount of product. So a tub of this size, you can see how much product is inside one of these. This is gonna last you such a long time. I bet you can get nine months or a year out of something like this. It's, you can feel the weight on it. Let's see, it's, it actually has a weight listed. 200 grams of shaving soap. So if you wanna treat yourself to one of the best uh, quality, best performing, best smelling, most traditional brands in the shaving world, I don't think it gets any more classic and real than GOF Trumper. Please check it out. God, the smell, unreal. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.